Hey, what's happening guys? Look at this, we got a box to open today. But before we do, I want to show you something, which is why I'm hand-holding this. We've got some new lights for the channel. How about that? So hopefully that will brighten things up and improve the picture considerably. Alright, on to the package. All right, I know you can't see the whole thing, but I'm getting a knife and I'm cutting the tape. And then I am unpacking this. What is it, you may ask? What is it indeed? It is Dum -dum -dum -dum. Well, I bet you'd like some light. You know what? You're in luck, we have light. Lots of light. Adjustable light. It is a Keithley 169 multimeter that was apparently owned by the University of Washington maybe chemistry department I'm guessing looks like University of Washington Bailey Hall equipment pool somebody did a number on that anyways this is a battery operated multimeter so we need to put some batteries in it there's a Like nothing on the back. Ah, serial number 107912, if you're one of those kind of folks. That must be for a fuse. Looks like we had to take out four very rusty screws. Hey, okay. seems to be coming out easy enough. I imagine if this was in the chemistry lab, the screws were probably quite rusty due to uh, corrosive chemicals that may have been aerosolized during some of their uh, experiments. Wow. Okay. Like I can't even see. where the slot in this one is. That may make this somewhat difficult. Let me try and get that screw out and I'll be back. Okay, screws are out. As I look at the inside of this crusty boy, there's our battery compartment. Can we flip that over. Yes, we can. Oh, that might not have been good. So what do we see in here? What makes things interesting? Well, we've got an Intersil 8201 processor. Look at that wire round resistor there. Isn't that a beaut? Then we got some uh, CMOS logic here. This is a 4011. There's a 4077. MC1407, not sure about that one. Yeah, I mean, when you look at this, there's really not a lot going on. I don't know what these are. Oh, I think they're posts. 
where they posted this will sit. Is that how that goes together? I bet you that was it. In which case, it looks like we're missing one. Nope. So yeah, that goes, that goes there, maybe, ah, oh, alright, I see it now, I see it now, those go on the top, see, there's that one there, that one goes there, and that one goes there, I was a little bit confused. Alright, batteries. Let's put some batteries in there. So I can pop that off there. I get the batteries in, we'll be right back. Okay, I think I have it properly. put together here. We will certainly find out, won't we? Yeah. These ones on the back. A little tricky. I still don't think I have it right. Give me a minute. You know, for a moderately intelligent guy, sometimes I do dumb shit. <laughs> Had to think about this for a couple minutes as to how it all fit together. I was trying to put it in back assward. I took it off in the wrong direction. You see, that's that's the problem. So now the question is, where's that other piece? Breaking, breaking. Okay, I found it. It was on the floor. Don't ask me how, but it ended up on the floor. So, you must assemble this from the bottom. Assemble and disassemble from the bottom. And then, flip it put the screws in. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. The real story of course will be does it work? So place your bets now. What do you think? Will she work or no? I give it a I give it a fifty fifty shot. So it doesn't take much for these screws to go in. Okay. That's because they're not really in right, but hey. What the hell? All right, the moment of truth, powered up, get some light in there so you guys can see, all 
Okay, the LED is kind of iffy. Let's put it on resistance and I'll grab some leads. Oh, shielded leads are no bueno. One moment. All right, I have some banana plugs to alligator clips. Ooh. Oh, that feels crunchy. And, yeah, not bad. No, no bad. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's see here. Bring in the old resistance box, right, right, right. Okay. How about one K? Put that on 2K. We'll try it 1K. I mean, I know I'm not getting good contact here. Let's try this. All right, let's go to 20K. And we'll try a 10K reading. Nine point six seven. Yeah, it's definitely out of spec. Go down to 200, and we'll try 2.2 ohms. See what we get here. And it's way, way, way out of whack. Let's go to 20 megs and try one meg. Well, no, that's not too bad. And that's not too bad. But it ain't too good either. All right, let's try some voltage. So it looks like AC is in, DC is out. This should read 17.3 volts. It's not. Let's bring it down. We should read 10.3. So see, that should be DC there. Yeah, this thing is uh, no good. No good. Well, that's okay. I got it for free. So, uh, if you guys are interested, maybe we could take a look at it and uh, see if we can fix it. Oh, hey, look at that. 10.3. It's eventually going to get there, isn't it? Nah, it's still climbing. All right. Well, it was fun. Like I said, if you guys are interested, let me know. and we'll, uh, We will take a look at it and see if we can make it better, right? All right. 
All right, uh, feel free to like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.